Welcome! This tutorial is going to be about a precaution I'd like you to make you aware of when you're changing your margins and columns. So if I go up here to my layout, margins and columns, right now I have a half inch margin around. Now right here there is a checkbox called adjust layout. Sometimes when you default to this it will be checked. Now if I go here and change it to one inch it actually affects my content. You see it's bringing it all into the one inch. Now this may be desirable uh, if you're trying to change your layout, but usually you don't want that. You're just in there to change your margin. So now you can see if I don't have that clicked, my one inch margin is represented. So be very careful when you're changing margins and columns that you don't have the adjust layout feature checked unless that is what you're looking for. Now another little tip I'd like to show you is when I'm dragging guides out from my ruler bars, and see, and I want a precise location of that. Now I can try to hit my ruler and be right at one and a half, and usually I can get it. But if you hold the shift key down while you're dragging your guide, you can see it snaps to the ruler increment. So if I wanted a two inch, I get it right there. Now, of course, the more you zoom in, the more tick marks you'll have on your rulers, and you have a little more control. Again, holding the shift key down, you can see it's no matter how I move, it's always snapping to a ruler increment. So you know you are absolutely precise with the placement of your guides. So that's it for the precaution for your margins and columns and snapping guides to ruler increments.